Hey everybody, I am back here with more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We are into Chapter 9, some mid-game content here. And um, we just got into Gallia and some of the um, Lagoos, and I had a little bit of a problem because of Soren's um, racism, I guess. And so we're going to keep going on here and see what Gallia has to hold for us. Good morning, Ike. May I have a moment of your time? What is it? I'm listening. Our expenses, our ability to fight, the current status of our troops. These are things that you must know. I see. Having grasp of that is part of a commander's job too, right? Understood. Let me hear it. Very well. Okay. That's just like the uh, screen, last screen. Um, and it tells who's like most important and etc. So anyway, uh, we're going to get some info here. Nothing important. Get some support. Uh, let's see. We'll do Soren and Ike. Thanks for uh, watching, by the way. You know, it's been like a minute of the video, but uh, thanks for coming and watching today, whether you're on live stream or whether you are uh, watching this on demand on YouTube. Uh, thanks for coming in. Um, if you're watching this on demand, I'll put links to my um, video for the preview for Eternal Darkness. And also, if you're watching on demand, I'll put the link for this week's Super Sweet Sunday video in the uh, in the description, and I will also put it uh, in a link at the end. So if you're watching later, you'll be able to see that. Um, if you're live, well, just go watch uh, the the uh, not Fire Emblem, the Eternal Darkness one. It's it's live now. It's been up for about a, a week. So all right. So that's how much we spent. Supplies running low. We need dried meat, fresh fruit. Ike, are you listening? Huh. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I would never have guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, you're in that report by me again. You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cot somewhere. You can tell? Of course. When you're not feeling well, your left eye twitches. That's odd. I never noticed. Get some sleep. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. You know, Soren, you're not nearly as in insensitive as the others say. Deep down, you're a big softy. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I'm going. Mmm, don't let the bag bugs bite. So now when Ike and Soren fight next to each other, they uh, are able to fight better. You already check that. Uh, we're going to outfit here. We're going to sell that red gem. Because it's not good for anything. So, yes. It's a good buy. Okay, okay. That longbow should go. We don't have anyone that has a bow yet. We'll put that in the convoy. We need another iron, uh, hand axe, though. And a couple of vulnerities. All right. Uh, shop. At the shop. For a vulnerary. And Boyd needs that. And who was the other one that only had one left? Was it Mia? Yeah. Let's check and make sure. I think everyone else has at least two. Yep. All right. That's all we need at the shop. Uh, let's see what they have at the armory. Ooh, Elwind. That's good. All right, let's sell that weak wind that he has left. Yeah, that three. He doesn't need that. And we'll get the Elwind. Shop. Nope. Sometimes uh, in this game I get a little confused on the menus, so. Yes. And. Sword's gonna carry that. Alright. And what else do we have in the armory? And sword, seal, sword, and javelin. That's good. And hand axe. Like I said, we need a, get a hand axe for Boyd here. I'm gonna buy another javelin. No, I'm probably gonna forge a javelin. Yes. So you can actually make... Oh, you can't forge the javelin yet. You can actually make weapons in this game and make them stronger than they normally would be and lighter than they normally be so that you can... Um... I'm going to have to send that to the convoy. But I do want to get one. So they're, they're better than they normally would be for whatever reason. Like I could... Um, Mia's really fast, so I could get her a strong sword that's really... Um... It's really light and easy to use if I wanted to. 
Um, maybe I'll do that. So let's go sell that sim slim sword. Where is that slim sword? There we go. And I'm going to buy a forge. There we go. So I'm going to forge a iron sword. Because it has the best um, durability. So you can make it stronger. You can make it have like critical value. You can make it uh, lighter, which makes it easier for me to use. You can make it more accurate. And that takes like half of your money though. It's a very expensive weapon. But she'll be able to use that 46 times and it's a really good... It's an iron sword that's as strong as a steel sword or maybe even stronger, but weighs a lot less. And we'll give that to Mia. And then you'll always know which one is custom because it's green text. So that's all the outfit I'm going to do. I am going to award experience to some people. Um, talked about Oscar being a little bit low. I'm going to get him up to level 12. That's a good roll right there. He needs more strength. He's got plenty of defense. That, that roll is not very, as good. All right, so he's up to 1261. We'll get Mia up to 12, and I'll get Soren up to whatever I can get Soren up to. Because that's what you need as people be in about the same level. Especially if you're going to keep using people. Like, I'm not going to use Titania. So I'm never going to get her experience up. It's just not important to me because I'm not going to use her. And that was a bad roll. Magic isn't important to her. Um, Reese, I really don't care about getting him up either. Man, Boyd's the highest level. So I think I'm going to get Soren up to 12. And then I'll stop, and I'll give Reese whatever's left over. Problem with Reese is he just can't get anything but, like, 11 at a time. And so he's never going to be able to catch up to everybody else. It just doesn't happen until you get into the mid-game where you can catch those healers up. That's a pretty good roll there. And there's the last level for Soren. It's another good roll there. He really needs HP and magic more than anything else. All right, and then I'll give Reese whatever's left. So we still have 102 left over, just in case I need it later. And so he's gonna level up, probably get some more resistance, and that's all he got. So um, yeah, that's not great. Let's save in advance of the battle and advance of the story. All right. This place brings back such memories. It hasn't changed the slightest. Titania, have you been to Galilee, Galilee before? A long time ago when I was still a knight of Crimea. I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Galilee's royal palace. I get it now. That's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Wilgoos. That's right. Uh, I've missed the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as if the horizon itself is on fire. Hmm. Now that I think about it, my father knew where that old castle was. He sure acted like someone who'd been to Galilee before. Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. We weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? Ike. It's Mordecai. You better answer him. Yeah, but we can finish our talk later, after we've reached the castle. Well, that was cryptic. What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Shall we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. Bjork are such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any glues worth his claws could cross it in a single bound. Leth. Hmm, it's the truth. If you persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. S you are my subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. What's wrong is wrong. You are a fierce warrior, Leth, but when it comes to the Bayork, you are far too stubborn. What did you say? Come on now, both of you. Let's calm down. Mordecai? Wait. What is it? That smell on the wind, it's iron. It is the smell of weapons, the smell of Bayork, heavily armored, well armed. Are you sure? Of course they're sure. 
General Kotaf, the Crimean mercenaries who entered our operations. Ha, they're trapped. Call every last man ready for battle. We stop the enemy here. So we're at Fort Tatana. Black armor. They're day and men, all right. You're saying that some of the invasion force is still around? Day and worms. They strut about the galleon force as if they own them. I won't stand for it. Ugh, the castle to the south. Many Bayork are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Ha, understood. What now? What do you mean? If you have to crush the worms, you do well to capture the ruins in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good, we could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. All right, let's go. I want you to take Mist and Rolf and retreat to the rear. Of course. We're counting on you. Be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Grow mercenaries, move out. All right, so uh, we can't control Mordecai or Leth yet. They're going to do their own thing. Um, what I do want to get to is this building and this building before this pirate gets there. He has a axe that causes poison, meaning we're going to have to take someone across, probably Ike, that can beat axe users. That thunder worries me. Iron sword, that thunder worries me as well. That can get there before this pirate can. Because once he gets to a building, he destroys it completely. So what I'll do is probably put... Can't move Ike, of course. I didn't get Ileana. That's why there's a space there. It's for her. All right. Uh, let's see who has uh, resistance and defense. 12 and 2. 10 and 5. That's surprising. 1 and 15. 9 and 3. I'm not using Titania. I guess it's going to be Boyd. It's going to go that way. He can definitely deal with that. Um, and then I'll take Reese with him. And... You know what? I'm not even going to have Titania go with us. Because I don't want her to take any... Come on. Take any um, experience from people. I'm just not taking her along. So, all right, so our forward troops are going to be Ike, Sora, and Mia, and Oscar. And our rear troops, let me go down that cliff. Our rear troops are going to be Boyd and Reese. And there, are there any hand axes, steel axe, pole axe, thunder, venom axe, iron sword? That's the only thing that worries me is this last guy. And then the rest of the troops will go down. Well, these guys are going to be going down. Maybe I'll take take uh, Mia going up with them. And we'll take Soren with the forward troops, so it'll be three and three. All right, let's go. Ike! Miss, you and Rolf clear out of here. Stay back no matter what. No, Ike, we're going to fight with you, both of us. What? No, that's not going to happen. Be serious, Miss. The two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this. A heel staff? Yeah, I made Reese teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries. I mean, just little ones, but still. Little ones. There's no way I'm letting you on this battlefield. Huh? Roll, stop being such a brat, you little twerp. I'm gonna fight too. I'm good with the bow. Really, that's news to me. Is that the best I could come up with? It's no lie. That's right, he's not lying. Of course he is. What are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's always practicing with his bow, and he's really good, aren't you? I sure am. And when did you learn to use a bow? Well, let's see. Um, I guess I sort of just picked it up naturally. Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. You can't just pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm a prodigy, because I learned it all myself. You little... You don't know anything, Boyd. That's right. This is ridiculous. Enough. You two go back. No, we don't want to. All Rolf, Rolf and I do is, well, I accidentally skipped it, but basically now we've got Rolf here, and he's awesome. 
he has to get leveled up. Like, he is really good. Um, he's one of the best characters in the game. Uh, Mist, she's basically another Reese, but lower level. So I really don't use Mist. Um, if I remember correctly, she does like come back later in the game, so you do need her. But I would not normally use her, so... All right, let's move Oscar up here to fight this sword guy. That's not a problem. And pull Axe Jones back here. Let's see where this mage can go to. All right, so we'll put him. Okay, he's fine. Yeah, okay, that's good. And he's got an iron axe, which is good. Send Reese this way and Wolf this way. And I guess uh, Mist can heal going down as well. And there's no other real danger down here. Um, these guys are units I cannot give orders to. They just are going to do their own thing, so I can't really control them. They're just going to fight whoever they want to fight. I would like them to go uh, kill that pirate, but I can't give them that order, so we'll just move everyone south first. They're called partners instead of allies. So Lagoos can only stay transformed for a certain amount of time, and then they become hum really weak, like, humanoid characters. So, um... You have to try to use them, and every time they attack, they lose some of their, like, powers. So. Roll's gonna get that kill. Now, there are some things uh, that are different about Lagoos. For example, by the way, what is it? If there is some special task you would ask of us, we are willing to listen. What are you talking about? Bah, open your ears. If you wish it, we shall follow your orders, but you must direct us. Really? You're willing to take orders from me? This is a Bayork fight. If you don't direct us, then we have no reason for being here. So spoke our king. But last night you... That, that was an emergency. We thought you were in danger. He thought correctly. We were in danger. I thank you. We are greatly aided by your arrival. You are welcome. Hmm. Very well. Let us fight together. If you choose not to direct us, we shall do as we please. Do you find this acceptable? Of course. Well, then good fortune to us all. So now you can use the direct command. If you click on Ike, you can go to direct, and it will tell these characters what to do. So right now those soldiers aren't moving forward. Um, so we'll see what he can do here, and I might need to have them attack. All right, he's going to be fine, so he's going to get that kill. He's going to get shocked. Oh, he's not going to get shocked. And he's probably going to get that kill. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. I wanted him to get this kill, but he can't. No matter what he uses. All right, we'll just use the regular wind then, since it doesn't matter. And then Ike will have to go in behind with the iron sword and take him out. It's not what I wanted to do at all, but it works. And then he can't go far enough to hurt anyone here. So I will give the... Oh, they aren't going to let me direct now that he's already gone. I thought you could still direct afterward, but I was wrong. All right. So I'm going to move. Let's see what his stuff is. Two resistance. He only has 18. What's this guy's speed is seven and roll speed is six. So he's fine to move up. So there's his first kill. He has high crit rate. He has high growth stats. So growing him is a really good idea. In my experience, it's a good idea. All right, and then I know that this guy's going to attack. I kind of want to move up so that they both attack. But this guy. All right.
Hmm, can I make it to this spot? Yes, that's where I want to be. And I'm going to use a hand axe, and I'm going to use the good hand axe. Because the other one's going to break soon. Alright, this guy, don't don't worry about him, because he's just magic, so... Um, I don't want to move Mia into the magic, though. And that's it. So now they're probably going to attack that guy, which is what I did want. Good. Because I wanted them to be able to, um, that's a bad place for that guy to be in. Oh boy, good job guarding against that magic. I thought that would hurt a lot more. Good. Very good. Now, see, Mordecai, every time he gets hit, he grows his Laguz power, but he's weak right now, so, like, he can't attack back because he doesn't have any claws when he's in uh, humanoid form. So he just gets hit. <laughs> see, like, he's not, that pirate is not interested in fighting our guys. But we need to make him interested in fighting our people. All right, that sucks. So we're just going to have to go up here and attack as normal. Oh, he can, good. He can kill him with the Iron Axe. Good, good, good. So now that... Oh, come on! That sucks. All right. And now he's poisoned, too. Now we're going to move Mia up. That's as far as she can go. All right, how far can this guy attack? Pretty far. Try not to get my, my weaker characters killed, but... All right, so now I'm going to direct the Lagoos to quit moving. Uh, I'm going to say they should... Can you say what to target? Yeah, let's have them target this guy. Okay. And then I don't think these guys are going to move if I don't move into range, so... Should be okay. Let's heal him real quick. And then we'll move up, and they should not be able to attack as far as I can tell. Oscar's gonna get 12 here. Ugh, another miss. Jeez. No one's getting a hit here. There's a good level there. That's what, 13? He's up with uh, Ike in levels. Actually, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna move him up here, but I'm gonna re uh, redirect. Instead of targeting him, I'm gonna have him target that guy. And neither of them can hurt my magic users, which is what's important to me. There. Oh, they're not gonna fight. They're just targeting the area. I wanted them to fight as well, but that's okay. There's that vantage. She gets to attack first. And twice. <laughs> Mordecai's still pretty beefy as a character. Um, even as far as, like... Oh, man. I guess strong. No damage, just hurting my, uh... He's just not interested in fighting. Oh, there's Marsha. Let's see now, where are they? Aha, I found them. All right. Let's see. I can hit this guy for... 16, and then can Boyd come in, or I mean, uh, can Rolf come in behind him? Yep, okay. So let's do that. Special Iron Sword for 16. She did get hit, but that's okay. Ugh, I can't get to him. That sucks. Where can that sword master get? That sucks too. So 
Because I just can't make it over to him because of the water. Can't get through that water because that guy's standing there. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's my only option. At least Rolf can kill that guy. Getting close to his first level. Move Reese up as far as he can move. And they're still safe from that guy. I guess I'm just gonna go back to the Rome. And then the Regal Sword. The Regal Sword will do 10 damage. That is not very much. And I mean, it's good against armor, but these guys are just really highly armored. Alright. And... Lance up here. And hopefully this will be enough to kill this guy. Or almost kill this guy. Okay. That's fine. Because I think this soldier could hit Soren once. Because his strength is 9 and the Steel Lance is 10. 19 minus 2, he'd still be alive. But then there again, there's this guy. So I can move here for the kill. But I can't move up and get the kill in the middle. Because of the bow guy. Hey, hey! Oh no, that's really bad. Oh, man. That's really, really bad. Well, well, I guess we'll just see what happens. Hopefully Soren does not die. <laughs> oh good, Mordecai's got his beast power. Alright, this guy's dead. Life is good. Ah, good. That's what I wanted Mordecai to do as well. Perfect. That's all I could do. And it wouldn't matter if I'd use Titania because uh, they can't walk on... Uh, horses can't run on sand, so they just are very, very slow. Oh, that's it for him. There's no way I'm going to get there. Two more pirates. Yarho! Yo ho ho <laughs> Scallywags of the sea we are. We fight like beasts and men do flee. We are in our gold with axes bold. The yar, you scurvy bilge rat. Why aren't you singing? Arr, oh there, Ned Atta. Fix your eyes on that. Do you see what I see? Oh, what's this then? Humans getting... Humans badly humans here in Gallia? What in the briny beard of Shanty Pete is going on? Oi, do you think they may be the king's curs out to capture us and claim the bounty? Gar har har. Shall we unfurl the mainsails and steer for calm, calmer waters? Bite your tongue, you kelp brain idiot. We're pirates. We don't turn tail from government scum. I'm going ashore. Watch me and you'll see a true sea dog in action. Yar, well said. You set me blood a boil. I'm with you all the way, matey. Arr, let's see what we can catch then. Yar, arr, ho, yo, ho, arr. These guys are weird. It's a real bummer. Alright. I guess I will heal her. guys move up. They cannot move up this turn, so that's fine. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Seven times two. See, that gives us two extra more power with that extra one that I get. Oh! Why is everybody not hitting today? I need some hits. I don't think he can kill this guy. Just four. And 14, 19 times 2. If he hits, a 47% chance of hitting. This is dumb.
I told you when I uh, started this that this guy was going to be the rough one, this iron sword guy. And I was right. Uh, let's see, direct. Uh, target area. All right, now I can move. There's not even that much stuff over here. Like there's just a bow and a couple of wind and fire guys and then a guy that has a knight killer and I don't have a knight with me, right? Oh, it would be, uh, he would be able to attack um, Oscar. That's all I have. It's not a big deal. So about the, the Lagoos, they, um, they um, have other abilities as well, like, um, or disabilities compared to other players. Like, they're weak against fire because their um, mains get burned. And there's also these certain lances that, are, that help kill Lagoos. So you have to be careful. Um, when you're fighting them and when they're fighting against you. Do I still have a unit left? Oh, I do have Rolf left, but I can't move him up. Because he'll die. Unfortunately. Alright, that's it. <laughs> so terrible. I can't get a hit. And then these pirates are going to be down here. Oh, oh dear, it's a lot more guys. Okay, well. Let's back out a little bit to right here with the javelin. And right there. Everybody else can just wait back here until we see what goes on. This is not the, uh, I did not come up with the best strategy for this one. All right, she's gonna get hit again, but then I'm going to uh, be able to kill him with Rolf. Yes, nope. Sixteen percent of a kill. It's just too too fast for us. I had forty six percent hit chance and I couldn't get any of them that time. So bad. Doesn't matter. It's the fourth time. Nike's gonna be not able to defend against them because they have javelins and he has a sword. Tried, tried to get those, but I just couldn't. All right. This has not been a good, uh, good round. Direct Rome. All right. go that's gonna do a kill we needed that bad there we go steel lance he'll get 
two shots on him as long as he doesn't miss again. Alright, that's good. I think I have a javelin. No, that guy does have a bow, though, and a sword. That's fine. Ike's fine. Another kill. I think next turn we'll be able to get Marcia. Maybe. How far can that guy go up? Too far. All right. Twenty-six percent chance of hit. Of course not. All right. Let's see. No, I don't want to see that. There we go. Okay. There's nothing I can do here. So for kill that guy. And I can move up to help Boyd at least. Which is good, but it doesn't matter that much. Because this guy's not going to hurt him. It's his resistance, too. So his magic is 7 times... 7 plus 4 is 12. I think I can move him up. Maybe he'll go after Rolf. And then... Do I still have one more? Oh, I still have missed. She's not moving up any farther than that. So Leth is done, but Mordecai can still attack the magic user. I was worried there for a second. Scallywags of the sea we are. We earn our gold with axes bold. That's okay. Now we've got axe on axe, and uh, Boyd is good. Iron... Versus iron, that was good. And then uh, attack with the bow. Okay. Other phase. Hey, Marsha, you found us. Ike! You, you're you that? That's right, it's me, Marsha. As promised, I'm here to pay my debt. I'm joining your group. Join us, but I thought you were one of the holy Peg Pegasus Knights of Benyon. I resigned. So what do you say? Are you gonna let me in or what? Come on! Sure about this? I mean, I'll be honest with you, we're a destitute band of mercenaries. Your wages will be a pittance compared to what you're used to. So what, are you saying no? No, no, I'm simply pointing out that you'll be losing almost all of... <sighs> I won't lose out at anything. Plus, I'll work twice as hard as anyone else. Come on, please let me join, please! Well, if that's what you want, I guess we'll give it a shot. We're shorthanded though, so you're gonna be busy. Huzzah, that's great! Just tell me what needs doing. She's way too happy. All right, he's no longer poisoned. And... He can do five damage to that guy. Let's see what she can do. Nine times two, seven times two, ten. All right. Let's move him around. 56% hit, that's all. That, that's that. Scallywags of the sea, are we? And an end like this is quite worthy. It's like a mini boss on this map. So Mia leveled up. She's been very helpful. I'm glad I took her along. Because that would have been real bad. And they just have Ven and Axis, right? So that's fine. Move him there. Heal up. 
get some more experience there. Move Rolf up and down here. Um, direct to avoid. And even though Ike's resistance is low, I think he'll still be okay against those two guys. I just want to get that guy out of here. And that's going to be Oscar's last hit there. Because he can't go up into the Beast Killer territory. So he's pretty much useless now. Um, I guess Miss can get some heal experience points. Her 10 or 12 or whatever it is. Alright, let's see what happens here. Had them avoid. Oh, that's good. Let's see if Void hits him. Good. Okay. <laughs> He's going to be poisoned forever. 16. 14. Rolf, stay by my side. You got it. Hold a minute, that was too easy. What's going on? Nothing, but if I'm close to you, I can protect you, so you have no need to worry. What? Hey, that's my line. All right. Here, I'll be able to um, at least get one hit on this guy before Mia kills him, so... Enough to get the first level for Rolf. It was not very much growth. Usually the growth is a lot better. Boyd's back at full health, but we can keep using that um, throughout the game. And then we can just use a regular Iron Sword. Nine times two will take care of that. Because Boyd's going to keep getting hurt, and so I can get lots of experience by following Boyd around. So we took care of all the pirates, but just not early enough to get the rewards. Unfortunately. Hmm. I guess he's not moving. Just wait and see if they move or if they are guarding. Because if they're going to move, we're good. If they aren't going to move, we have to figure something out. Alright, they're not moving. That means I can bring the rest of my crew down there to help. Alright, let's go. Also, that staff that Mist has, probably going to use... Uh, have a... Uh, Rolf, uh, not Rolf, um, Reese finesse that staff. I think that's gonna be fine. She definitely can't kill that guy, so. 56 is not good. Ah, that's really good. So he can definitely take these guys out, no problem. His resistance is so high. No damage. He's too good at magic, you can't hurt him. Good for Soren. All right, I think everybody else is gonna just wait. Boyd keeps getting hurt. So I'm just bringing everyone down for that final battle because I just don't know um, how it's going to be without having a guy with a hammer or a armor slayer down there. You know, 
Because uh, he has the hammer, which is good against knights, and Mia has an armor slayer, which is good against knights. So, we'll just have to see. That's still not very good. I'm not a huge fan of Marcia, though. I'm just going to use Soren. I just prefer to use Marcia as little as I can because she's kind of weak. Even though it's important to have a couple good flying units, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I will make her a little bit better. So far, so good. Boyd stays, uh, stays injured, right? healed now. So now I'll have him move forward. He's not going to be able to hurt that guy, though. Have Reese move forward. Heal Mia with that mend staff that Alincia gave us. So he's up to level 10, which is good. Staying as close as he can to everybody. Raid. And then everybody else comes forward. The next turn. I guess I can move Ike back. Because he's not going to be attacking at all for sure. All right. Let's see how far can he move up. Okay, he can heal Ike. For four, <laughs> not a big deal. And then I guess I'm gonna just use Boyd and Soren. And everyone over here is full, so all I gotta do is go up here and attack. If he does 10 to someone with 10 defense, we do 18 to someone with that defense, so that's okay. 10 times 2. Oh, we can't use that. 69% hit. Ten, twelve, ten. 12, 10. Definitely going to need a healer up here. In case something bad happens. Two. All right. Death to the rogues who defy day and defend our brethren and erase their shame. All right, and I'm just gonna move up here with the hand axe. Which seems weird, but I want him to attack with the Javelin, not the Night Killer. Which is why I'm doing it. Then I'm going to put her here so he can't get to Reese. And then he'll probably attack Soren with the Javelin, is my guess. See, like I said, 18. And now, Roy can go up with a hammer. 18. Nope, he sure can't. He sure can't. Hand axe is bad too. Alright, let's just go up there with the iron axe. 13. Oh, because the javelin is a weaker weapon. Gosh! That's really bad. 
still has 21, so he will not die, thankfully. This guy's a lot harder than I would think. All right. Ah, miss. That's good. And then finally, that's going to be a definite kill. Well, not definite. 99% is not definite. There's a 1% chance. Oh, in the name of the Empire, cleanse my shame. We'll do no such thing. You are shameful for being a part of the Dayan Empire. Shame on you. All right. Ooh, an arm scroll. Heal for some HP. That one or two heals here and there that I do at the end of every level really add up. Heal up. Void. Oh good, I can heal again. Been so long, they're just hanging out on the beach. All right, we're good to go. We defeated their commander, but we still don't know what they were after. It seems unlikely that they're merely pursuing Princess Alencia. I wonder if Dana's planning to invade Gallia. Perhaps Crimea was only a stone on which to wet their blades. No matter the motive, the fact remains that Dayan crossed the border. Under such circumstances, Hostilities between Dayan and Gallia could break out at any time. So it's war, again. Four ups between the Bayork and Laguz, it's only a matter of time before other nations become involved. Could Dayan truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? If that happens, many of our citizens would be sacrificed on the altar of their ambition. We, too, need to choose which way to move, whose side to take. Whose side? We shall never import, support Dayan. Unthinkable. Captain Titania, we are human. What would... You truly have us side with Sub? With Laguz against other humans? That is unthinkable. Bayork and Laguz. Are you going to sit here and argue about a war that hasn't started? You Bayork are so timid. It's pathetic. Leth, you must not say such things. Mordecai, Leth, what do you think? Will it come to war? Our claws, claws are sharp. If Dan invades Gallio, we are ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. I like it not. War brings pain. Sorrow. This is troubling. Enough. We have lost much time. Let us make for the palace. We must reach tonight's camp before the sun sets. Is the palace still far? On your skinny bjork legs it is very far, but we will do as we can. My Lord Ike, everyone! Princess Alencia, I heard about Commander Grail. I am. Uh, I don't know what to say. Don't worry, we're all right. We're getting by somehow. Oh, Ike. The king has arrived. Um, hey there. Thank you for coming to Gallia Palace. I am Kanegus, the ruler of the Kingdom of Gallia. These are Grail mercenaries. I am, their, I am Ike, their commander. You have been raised well, young pup. I didn't recognize you. What? When last you were here, you are still a small child. Is that you, Titania? It's good to see you. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. Two of your friends? How How does this king know me? Mmm, I have something I must tell you about your father, Grail. Leth, Mordecai, leave us now. Prepare rooms so our guests may have a place to rest and heal their wounds. At once, my lord. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess, I would have you stay. And this one also will stay. This is Gifika, my shadow. Pay him no more heed than you would the air. Understood. I would have Titania and Sword stay with me as well. Me? So be it. Now then, where to begin? 
Titania, how much did Grail tell his son? Ike was raised with no knowledge of Gallia whatsoever, nor does he recall ever having been here. Is that so? Then it's best for me to tell him all that I know. Although that is not much. That's all right. Whatever you can tell me would be much appreciated. I want to know more of my father. Hmm, you have good eyes, honest and brave. I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father, worked as a mercenary for Gallia. We forged a strong bond, he and I. To speak truly, I still do not trust the Bayork, but your father was different. Prince Alencia's father, King Ramon, and his brother, Lord Renning, are also of a different kind. All are, or were, exceptional men. Men in whom one could put his trust. Oh, Titania, you are an exception as well. Among Bayork females, you are unique. You are most gracious, Your Majesty. My father was a mercenary for Gallia? Correct, and your sister. You were both born here in Gallia. You stayed only a short time, but part of your childhood was spent within these borders. Miss and I were born here. Is that so? I don't remember any of this at all. I feel your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them. I'm sure of it. Once, over ten years ago, and after your mother had been slain, your father chose to leave Gallia. Before he left, I went, and went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, Why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? But I was unable to loosen his tongue. And then I heard he had returned to Gallia, and I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. If I had been faster, if I had hastened my steps, perhaps things would have been different. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard, that was you, wasn't it? His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best to not to interfere in his final moments, so I remained hidden. Tell me, Ike. At his last, did he confess anything to you? The identity of the Black Knight. Did he reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command, told me to trust King Canagus and live peacefully in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. Is that so? Well, let me do as I can. If any of your mercenaries desire to live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouchsafe them home and land. Your kindness is truly appreciated, but speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so quickly forget the past or the Black Knight. But Ike, that's not... I know, I'm not strong enough. An opponent could defeat my father as well beyond my reach. But that's why I've defi devoted myself to growing stronger. I will lead my father's mercenaries and prepare them for the day when my chance for revenge arrives. A prudent course of action. You look as one who would be more impulsive, but you are Grail's son after all. Ha! Huh, you matured, Ike! Titania. And now I could ask a boon of you. The strength of your mercenary band, Ike. Would you lend it to Princess Alincia? Oh, that was Canagus. My bad. Are you serious? King Canagus? Gallia and Crimea are allied nations. That cannot be denied. However, this alliance in reality binds only the royal families. It is not respected by our citizenry. People of Gallia are seldomly seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have real little understanding of the Lagoos. Many of our people still use that undignified name subhuman when they speak of the Lagoos. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow over what you described. More than any king in our history, he wanted to deepen the relations between our people. And then... Perhaps that is why Dayan targeted him. Their hatred of Lagoos is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts, I would like to take guardianship of Princess Alencia and insist in the rebuilding of Crimea. Thanks, Manus. I do my best. However, anti bayork sentiment is running high here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe harbor to Alencia, I feel many of our elder statesmen would protest. They would say that we are giving Dayan an ideal excuse to attack. Which means Gallia can't offer Princess Alincia any relief at all, is that it? Unfortunately, it is true. My Lord Ike, King Canaeus had advised me to turn to Benyan Theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should make of Benyan a formal request and gain the support of their shields. Passage to Benyan would require several months at sea, and escort would be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So if the princess were willing to hire us as an escort, it would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titania, Soren, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer. What you say? It is what you want, right, commander? Well, then it is our job to follow you. However you wish to proceed is fine. I will do all in my power to ensure that our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail mercenary shall assume the honor of serving as an escort to the princess of Crimea. 
Princess Alentia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I only pray that I, in turn, may be worthy of your service. Well, that chapter was almost an hour long, and if you're still with me, thanks for watching. And if you're watching this on demand, some links should be popping up. Remember to click my face to subscribe and click the bells to get notifications when I live stream and when I post.